pleasure to introduce our guest speaker who is coming all the way from the other side of the pond. Hello, welcome. Um, so uh, with us is Jelena Vesic, who is an independent curator, writer, editor, and lecturer. Uh, she's very much uh, active in the fields of publishing, research, uh, exhibition practices uh, that um, uh, intervene uh, political theory and contemporary art. Um, Vesic is uh, uh, co-editor of the journal Red Thread that uh, is published in Istanbul. And she's also a member of uh, advisory board Met uh, Metosfera in Budapest and president of the Serbian Association of Art Critics. Uh, she published uh, extensively uh, one of the publications that uh, we here at Herman had a chance to look at is the um, a uh, collection of essays and the catalog, stagecraft catalog of uh, Vesna Pavlovich's uh, mm, photography work uh, that Yelena co-edited and uh, actually edited and uh, wrote uh, excellent essays within that book. And that is the exhibition, if you recall, that we had here at Harriman last November. Um, um, besides that, she also um, published publications such as All Truths and Instant Realities from 2020. Um, also, Feminist Stakes, Early Works by Jelena Jelnik, um, which was a catalog of the exhibition staged in Vienna, if I uh, it is not a it is not the catalog of exhibition. It's a separate project mm -hmm. by uh, mm -hmm. Antonia Majerch. Uh, which uh, which is uh, meant to be uh, a, a series of uh, discussions and uh, interventions uh, in different places, but uh, about the director. The, the, it's a, it's a the reader in the end. The book is it's the reader. Okay, thanks yeah. for clarifying that. Yeah. Yes. So that is the book about the director that uh, we also uh, hosted a symposium uh, on his work here in, at Columbia uh, last semester, and uh, Yelena is also uh, a editor with Ranisa Dimitrievich and Yasha Denegri of the book uh, that uh, should be published this year or yes, is in so. cooking uh, called Yugoslav Art Space. Um, and tonight uh, we'll hear from her uh, a talk or lecture on topic Solidarity in Time, the week of Latin America in Belgrade in 1977. So uh, please join me welcoming Yelena tonight. Uh, okay, first, uh, uh, thank you, uh, Alexander, for this uh, for this invitation and for this uh, for this opportunity. Uh, we share a lot of things, and this is how we uh, started uh, this collaboration as well, uh, mostly around our uh, uh, joint interest in uh, avant-garde and neo avant-garde. Uh, and uh, um, I would also like uh, to thank to uh, other colleagues from the department which supported my trip here and uh, uh, everything around the lecture. Uh, first of all, Elin and uh, then uh, other few uh, colleagues with whom I was less in touch. So I uh, uh, I can uh, you know like uh, clearly. Uh, Thank to Eileen, uh, but I thank to uh, everyone who per who per participated in this. I'm happy to uh, uh, have uh, this uh, opportunity um, in these difficult times. Okay, some are less, some are more, uh, but of course, uh, very much in Gaza to have this opportunity to speak about uh, about solidarity, which is uh, a relation uh, or social relation that we need uh, much today. Uh, according according to Arendt, which is um, I thought uh, also interesting to mention and to start with a little bit uh, of. Um, uh, Thinking around solidarity, solidarity is alternative to pity, uh, and is conserved. Uh, while pity is conserved, uh, uh, conceived by uh, her as uh, the perversion of compassion, and uh, 
it is uh, uh, emotional side, affective side of a certain uh, common shared uh, gesture, and uh, uh, it unites individual individuals uh, uh, in different like uh, oppositional consciousness. Uh, it collectivizes uh, what would otherwise remain individual experience and uh, and uh, and emotions. And I'm speaking uh, tonight about a concept uh, of solidarity in time, uh, which uh, is uh, connected to um, a my recent project, be my life project, uh, sort of, and a case study which I'm. Uh, presenting tonight, which is the week of uh, Latin America in Belgrade in 1977. Uh, it is, uh, uh, when I say uh, recent project, uh, this is that I started uh, also referring to my life project, which is dealing with uh, histories either post-1989, uh, uh, histories or uh, uh, the, the histories of Cold War, uh, I mean, exploring the era of historical vis-a-vis -vis the era of post-historical, as uh, uh, some theories say in which we live. And uh, uh, I'm now returning in my recent project to it as a kind of reflection of what, what I was doing and what my peers and colleagues and networks were doing with this obsession with the history. So I'm uh, uh, interested uh, in the images of contemporary art, what I say I was calling, uh, or I, I am calling solidarity in time, engaging with the questions uh, how to think history in the present moment beyond teleological and linear understanding of time and beyond apologetic nostalgic returns to better past. Uh, I would like to think about how contemporary artists, theories, and exhibition makers, and I'm one of them, explore, remember, and actualize emancipatory histories, the actions of transnational networks of political solidarity, and the programs of cultural ex exchange. I'm asking the question, is it possible to express solidarity in time beyond commemoration, that is, beyond reconstruction and repetition, but to somehow compose it as a source of imagination and, pro and projection. The research starts from the assumption that the images uh, of history in contemporary theory, art, and political practice represent a relevant field of struggle regardless of the technological, media, and psycho-experiential insistence of the present, what I call the social reproduction of the super now. The return to historical past, which is the subject of numerous works today, often meets with a double dead end. On the one hand, the, it is the problem of apologetics of the past, the proliferation of heroic nostalgic images of better yesterday, which, uh, uh, and uh, to think that way, we can also refer to some uh, theories uh, or theoretical corpuses of, uh, in example, Svetlana Boim, The Future of Nostalgia, or Boris Groys. While on the other hand, we uh, uh, there is this problem of uh, reactionary historical revisionisms and overproduction of post-historical fictions, reconstructive spectacles, taking place hand in hand with the threatening of the populist right in the world after 1989. Reactionary historical revisionisms and post-truth politics produced contemporary political and scientific disorientation, above all, when it comes to anti-fascist and anti-imperial consensus of post-World War II, if it was consensus, and uh, obviously not. And today, uh, therefore, the struggle is not uh, only performed in the name of the present, but also in the name of the past, uh, which was uh, uh, debated in one of these big conferences uh, um, of uh, former West project in uh, Netherlands, Netherlands, Berlin. 
and elsewhere even 10 years ago from uh, now. The returns to history. Uh, I see it as uh, also generational obsession of Gen X and millennials, uh, uh, like my generation or my generations. Uh, our double or split belonging to 20th and 21st century uh, also double or split belonging to pre and post internet paradigm uh, which uh, changed our relation to history our uh, and then in the end there is also this split uh, belonging to socialist and post socialist era uh, so we are uh, experiencing obviously this split in epistemological sense, emotional sense, psychological sense uh, as an experience. So in our lives, we pass through some kind of break. And uh, I wonder whether this has to do with the uh, 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 mass, I would say, production of uh, uh, interest in, in emancipatory histories in contemporary in contemporary art and theories. Uh, so I'm looking uh, uh, for examples of return to history that are not uh, reviving an ideal past, but are engaging with the present moment, uh, taking positions in history uh, dash contemporaneity is set against the dramatic time the time in which history becomes a play. And I think that this dramatic time uh, can be uh, associated with the right-wing uh, spectacles, hallucinatory spectacles of uh, uh, history, their returns. And this dramatic time actually absorbs an annual historical time. I'm referring to Sven Lutiken's uh, concept of history in motion, which he uh, juxtaposes to Abbe Warburg's cultural poses, of course, his famous Mnemosyne Atlas. Uh, I'm referring to uh, Silvia Rivera Gusikanki uh, and, he, and her concept uh, of looking with the whole body, the question of how we would decolonize Cartesian ocular centrism and reintegrate bodies gaze to the flow of inhabiting space-time in what others call history. Uh, and she says uh, about how um, indigenous, uh, indigenous world uh, does not know for post or pre, but uh, its past future is contained in the, pres in the present. And uh, she calls it motley relations, uh, uh, that are transforming the history into full of now time, into spiral time and layer time. And I'm also at the end referring to, uh, these are just like uh, scattered uh, uh, references or the sources of inspiration of this project of uh, reflection of uh, what it was uh, and what my peers were ro working in uh, practically or uh, in the th in the theory production so i'm also relying on uh, um, uh, franco berardi's before uh, writing uh, about the uh, about the, the, the end of the idea of future, the way it's produced in the 20th century, uh, he, which, for which he says that it is even an ideological invention of the 20th century, somehow underlined by this uh, uh, often repeated sentence, the past was harsh, the present contains many problems, but we put uh, forward the efforts for the sake of better future. And this is uh, a historical promise that has been uh, betrayed. And uh, this trauma, I would call it trauma, constitutes the relation to history of my generation of researchers. And uh, our, um, in a way, scrutinizing history. Solidarity in time. To be contemporary, and the very word contemporary, comprises the two, con, with, and tempora time. Means to live with time, to live 
in time to live with one's present, but it also assumes, I would say, certain solidarity in time, sharing particular moment of time with both past and the future. Living in the present moment in which the promise of historical progress and better future waned, uh, and I just referred to before, we are provided with an illusion that we live in the era of absolute chrono-democracy in which all historical moments seem reachable and easy accept, uh, accessible, ready to be performed, experienced, and consumed. Our memories are simulated and assembled from various paths that are spectacularly presented in reality show like that digest uh, on dedicated history channels and why that history is my favorite. Everything, including World War, now runs again, and this time in color. This is how they do their advertisement, World War II, but this time in color. The past became a playground for political fantasies, recreated, rewritten, re-envisioned. Speaking about solidarity in time, I'm not speaking about memory or remembrance of the past alone, but about thinking politics of historicization. The very, the very term politics of historicization in contemporary context assumes a certain struggle, struggle in time and with time, but also struggle for the politic that deserves the future and therefore deserves to be included in the past to be remembered historically. Solidarity in time cannot be achieved simply through counter positioning vis-a-vis -vis the reproduction of now, but through historical approach to contemporaneity in which both past and the future are becoming sites of struggle. And uh, uh, this is why um, in our history, uh, there have been a lot of uh, um, terms like excavating uh, invisible, uh, less known histories, uh, speaking about uh, alternative histories, uh, uh, suppressed histories, and so on. The concept of solidarity in time stems from the concrete essay that I've written for the project book Past Described by Rasha Salti and Christina Kouri, and the exhibition is now uh, um, on you in uh, Palais de Tokyo, uh, Paris, where I developed it for the first time, uh, interconnecting my art historical um, inquiry and the contemporary action of uh, the artist, contemporary artist and the friend, Darinka Pop Mitic, with the muralists of Salvador Allende Brigade and the week of Latin America in Belgrade in 1977. Using the concept uh, solidarity in time, I put an accent on contradictions, on the process of collecting, of collaging and decollaging historical moments and images in sharp cuts, on uh, building the meaning of artistic political gesture that does not ally with both a art historical, museal epistemic canon of regional paradigms or regional art histories. And this is how art history is uh, syst systematized uh, today in all the mega museums from MoMA to Tate and uh, all the way in the middle. Uh, and I also uh, uh, do not ally with the uh, academicized canon of artistic uh, research spies by political archival images that purely serve individual authorial branding and careers. And uh, this uh, is being debated long ago under this uh, notion of uh, archival fever that uh, uh, I think getting stronger and stronger. The week of Latin America in Belgrade in 1977 and the mural solidarity of um, a Yugoslav people with the people of Latin America, uh, painted by muralist brigade Salvador Allende, have the status of pale object in contemporary landscape of the city and the global political atmosphere of neoliberal right-wing hegemony. This lost object of common and shared solidarity that no longer exists, 
the artist Darinka Popmitic and myself uh, researched and made public over the past years. Not only the material evidence of this historical event uh, is scarce and spread around scattered archives, but also the solidarity itself has slowly paved and disappeared, both as idea and action, as a project and as an effect. The reconstruction uh, of the story on solidarity of people of Yugoslavia with the people of Latin America and what does it tell us today, I will narrate in the spiral uh, montage of archival and living voices and uh, blank spaces. And I'm using uh, the shape of spiral telling, spiral telling, drawing from the film La Spiral from 76 by uh, Armand Matelar, a Belgian sociologist and filmmaker interested in, in the ideas of third cinema and at the time based, based in Santiago, Chile. His film La Spirale uses a spiral montage, he calls it spiral montage, to show the history of US participation in the political events that led to military coup in Chile in 73, in which the first democratically elected socialist president in Latin America, Salvador Allende, was thrown down and the puppet regime of the general Pinochet was installed instead. Of, instead. Yeah, the film <clears throat> was presented at the week of Latin America in Belgrade after being refused by the French national television broadcast as didactic and partisan. So in my spir spiral uh, montage, of our archival and living voices and blank spaces. Uh, there are a certain actors uh, living or context contextual, like uh, alternative uh, institutional context of student cultural center, like a non-aligned movement uh, as a permitting social component. Um, we will uh, speak about the voice of Milo Petrovic, who is an uh, editor of the Tribune program. Uh, that uh, um, organized this uh, um, grand event. Uh, then the members of uh, the Muralist Brigade, Salvador Allende, then the group of avant-garde artistic community working in the Gallery of Student Cultural Center, then the post-socialist and national revisionist context uh, of Serbia as the source of oblivion, and the performative action uh, by contemporary artist Darinka Popmitic, who refreshed the colors on the paint mural in 2005. In my spiral uh, analysis, I try to uh, unravel the political threads to sort of come through the narrative and to break down the story to its main co uh, constituents. And I'm using uh, a kind of multi-perspective uh, method, which we often visualize uh, by a the cube by a cubist image, an image of cubist painting. Uh, so I'm making the whole picture out, out of fragmented uh, narratives, uh, doing a simultaneously a reconstruction and deconstruction of the story. The project of solidarity of the Yugoslav people with the people of Latin America was part of the Tribune program of Student Cultural Center um, in Belgrade. Uh, in, in the words of uh, uh, its editor, Milo Petrovic, the Tribune offered a site of free-minded public speech, intellectual debate, and social activism. Between mid-70s and mid-80s, the Tribune uh, presented several conferences and events. Week of Spain in 1976, coinciding with the end of Franco's dictatorship. The Week of Latin America in uh, 1977, examining the anti-colonial struggle of various militant guerrilla movements under the circumstances of corporate neocolonialism. Then the first women's questions outside the Western context, and this is what you are seeing on the slideshows. Uh, was uh, were posed during the conference Drukca Žena, Kobrades uh, Woman, in 1978, and an event dedicated to uh, militant revolutionary Ch Chilean cinema, second week of Latin America, 
was uh, held at the beginning of 83, while political discussions over 84 were dedicated to the critique of internal Yugoslav uh, politics that would slowly lead to the dissolution of the Federation in the bloody wars of the 90s. And it is precisely that these bloody wars of the 90s, the nationalist right-wing turn, that was, as we like to say, the dark avant-garde of the global uh, right-wing consolidation is what makes this return, what makes our returns, this referencing to the previous socialist histories, interesting and perhaps uh, relevant. Student Cultural Center was operating at a time as an alternative institution that opened up its space to experimental art and exhibition practices, to social activism and critical intellectual developments. I was writing a lot about Student Cultural uh, Center, so if some of you uh, are interested uh, in it, uh, you can either leave your email uh, to Alexander or somebody connected to this uh, event and uh, I can sh I can share I can share these writings because here I will just uh, uh, pinpoint uh, the main things which are uh, which are relevant for our story. Uh, so Student Cultural Center was operating at a time as an alternative institution that opened up its space to uh, experimental uh, art and exhibition practices, to social activism, and to critical uh, intellectual developments. It was self-produced, uh, the thesis which I'm coming to uh, um, through this research, as an institution in movement or institution-movement, growing out of the uh, student and workers' protests of 68 and continuing uh, that movement from the inside as the critical way supported by the intellectual flux of artists, intellectuals, and activists. The Student Cultural Center was a result of uh, the political um, activities of the group of young intellectuals uh, who led the protests and the student union. Control over uh, the building uh, of state security service, which was undergoing reconstruction, and this is uh, the building, was given uh, over to the student union at the very end of 60s. The student protests in uh, 68 ended with a symbolic and equally assimilative statement of Comrade Tito. The students are right, he said. Many people participated in Student Cultural Center's activities without being part of its formal and institutional uh, structure. And in these images, you see the uh, images of student protest and the images of exhibition opening like this one are very similar. So many people participated in uh, the activities uh, without being part of its formal structure, but worked instead in the same space, often influencing the regular program. Student Cultural Center was the place where people actually lived. Young artists and intellectuals spent time in proximity with a self-conducted uh, teaching, learning environment, and the term alternative university that many of the former editors of the Student Cultural Center frequently use speaks precisely about that. Petrovic reflects upon the activities of Tribune program we wanted to be in touch with the problems of the world, the problems of our times, to discuss the developments in intellectual thought, in artistic practice and socially engaged work. And then he says, we want to live with our times. So we want to be contemporary, if it translated to the language of uh, solidarity in time. And you see the difference between uh, what's uh, an ideology of white cube and kind of behavior in the white cube, so galleries, museums, and behavior in this space. And uh, 
So these are the people who were there and who participated in the program, like sort of uh, equally. So the institution is not only the building populated by bureaucracies and hierarchies, but uh, 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 is also people who are there. So I see the institution of uh, Student Cultural Center as an institution with semi-permeable walls. The event of solidarity of Yugoslav people with the people of Latin America from the point of view of global art histories was one of the crests of the wave of world solidarity uh, in Chile. After the fall of the first democratically elected Marxist president in Latin America, Salvador Allende, and the beginning of Augusto Pinochet's dictatorship. The, de the decade of the 70s was the era of the worst military dictatorships in Latin American countries. The time of the fall, um, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, in Latin American uh, countries. Um, uh, in which the generals of Argentina were waging the infamous uh, Guerra Socia 30 war against this population, exterminating political enemies by committing such acts as throwing people out of airplanes. This was the time when many political refugees fled to Europe and along with assist, assist, assistance in the wider sense of social care and security within a certain circles, also received solidary help in promoting and agitating for their political goals. The events in Student Cultural Center were followed uh, by uh, um, more uh, than 500 people, including representatives of guerrilla movements of uh, Mapu, Montaneros, Tupamaros, ELN, and others, representatives of socialist parties in Latin America, politicized artists and intellectuals in exile in Europe, representatives of third cinema movements, engaged poets, philosophers, journalists, and lawyers. And here we see some images uh, from also uh, from both uh, uh, documentary sources and from the films which were narrating on these different struggles uh, taking place in Latin America. And uh, the, this was the so-called third cinema and the representatives of third cinema, uh, the main representatives of third cinema were uh, part of this conference in Belgrade too. Since uh, his early youth, now next uh, next uh, uh, next note on spiral, <laughs> the Mil Milo Petrovic, who led the Tribune, and who since his uh, early youth was interested in uh, anti-colonial uh, revolutions, as a young high school student in a small. Uh, Bosnian city of Bielina, uh, which I think I also have somewhere here, yes, from, from that epoch. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is the city. He, uh, he read books about uh, Algeria's National Liberation Front. And among them, uh, the book La Question by the journalist uh, Henri Allège, describing the met methods of torture used by French paratroopers on revolutionaries, which made significant impression on Petrovich and influenced his later political and intellectual interest. Allège and then the scenes from the, uh, from the film Battle uh, for Algiers by famous film by Gilo uh, Pontecorvo. Petrovic school organized uh, uh, after the shameful actually killing of the Congolese independence leader, uh, Patrice Lumumba, again, the first democratically elected prime minister of now Democratic Republic of Congo, Petrovic School organized program of solidarity with Congo in this small city. 
uh, and uh, people demonstrated on the streets of uh, Bielina. Individual political consciousness and uh, social engagement were part of the larger cognitive political infrastructure that Yugoslav socialism and non-alignment provided, and that was conveyed into the fields of political education and practice throughout the country, not only in the metropolitan centers and capitals of the various Yugoslav republics. So it was uh, capillary decentralized political uh, uh, infrastructure. Two years before the week of Latin America took place, the book uh, Historical Roots of Non-Alignment by Edward Cardell, the prominent Yugoslav politician, revolutionary and theorist was published. For him, non-alignment was not a completed project but the long-lasted political process in which all independent countries will overcome the residual effects of colonial epoch and progress towards developed socialist societies. So we see very much this uh, trajectory that I mentioned before with BIFO, like uh, the past was harsh, today is hard as well, but a uh, better future is in front of us. But anyway, uh, what's interesting uh, with uh, this Cardell analysis, whom I like uh, sort of maybe uh, uh, among the best uh, from uh, different uh, theorists and especially these uh, politicians um, uh, involved in online movement is, uh, uh, is that he understood the process and the time needed for uh, a social transformation, and therefore he was also able to understand heterogeneity, like a big heterogeneity, which is normally uh, not acceptable, in spe spe specifically not in uh, this uh, Cold War uh, terminology of either or, this binary thinking. Although uh, non-alignment in its uh, linguistic political substance uh, assumed the rejection of any alliance with either of the political blocs that maintained the Cold War, uh, uh, an important aspect of Cadell's positioning is uh, uh, that uh, the bidirectional negation of the power blocs does not imply reaching a point of ideal equidistance from the existing centers of power, but is actively countering the power politics as such, which also uh, helps the linguistics and terminology of non-line movement and different concrete pol political uh, situation to explain their positioning, which was all, always like a very moving uh, to uh, 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 changing position, position changing, yeah. And uh, uh, short break to look through the uh, images which are connected to the conference of non-line uh, movement uh, in uh, uh, Belgrade at the conference in uh, uh, 61. Um, the uh, from the Museum of Yugoslavia and Presidential Photo Service, and um, I made selection of images which are um, enacting precisely these political gestures of the 20th century um, solidarity. Uh, and uh, uh, these images of solidarity are, of course, propagandistic images of solidarity. And uh, I am also uh, here uh, juxtaposing uh, female and male corners uh, of the conference of non-life in uh, Belgrade. Although um, to now return uh, to um, the next moment, because uh, the images that I was presenting were from the 60s mostly, and the struggles in uh, the uh, Latin America's countries were uh, taking place mostly in the 70s. And this is also 
like a little shift uh, for the uh, entire composition of the non-aligned movement and uh, Yugoslav, uh, Yugoslav position in it. So Aldo Hito uh, was uh, one of the first uh, international politicians to support Allende's government. Yugoslav non-alignment was shifting towards pragmatic solutions. Revolutionary critique of all existent was shadowed by the defense of what was being achieved in mostly United Nations, representations of the new nations in the United Nations. Petrovic remembers how this differed greatly from what the young guerrillas in Latin American countries were striving for. Unlike the official uh, political trajectories, the Student Cultural Center Tribune program regularly uh, collaborated with liberation movements in Latin America, Vietnam, and many other places. And this is why this event, this uh, massive big event, takes place in Student Cultural Center in an alternative institution and not using the networks, the political networks of, uh, of uh, non-aligned. And here we see uh, here we see uh, Tito and uh, Castro uh, in uh, um, yeah in uh, conversation, but actually there was a, there was a, there was a, a big uh, uh, misunderstanding, uh, specifically within an online moment between two of them at the moment. Uh, Many participants uh, uh, of uh, the event uh, of Latin America claimed that uh, this event in Belgrade was uh, of uh, uh, ultimate uh, significance uh, for all for all of them. Uh, and uh, just to give you uh, just to give you a picture uh, of um, who was there, uh, I will click. I will quickly uh, go go through some names. Uh, yeah, it's uh, like three pages, but I'll just uh, pick up some. Um, like um, uh, they had big round tables um, uh, with the um, with the with the with the extremely important uh, politicians like uh, consultants of Allende's uh, government, uh, then uh, uh, really leaders of these uh, guerrilla movements, uh, uh, then uh, um, uh, I mean. Uh, since speaking in, in uh, Columbia University to mention also that the conference host was hosting René Zavaleta Mercado, a well-known uh, Bolivian polit politician, a sociologist and philosopher who uh, highly influenced all the doyens of uh, uh, post-colonial departments here. Uh, and uh, then um, the filmmaker, Fernando Solanas, uh, Argentine film director uh, and uh, person cl close to uh, Montenegro's guerrilla group and uh, one of the founders of uh, the uh, third cinema. Um, then uh, the brother of uh, Che Guevara, who was also one of the leader of the resistance movement in, the, in, in Bolivia. I mean, uh, many, many uh, very important people uh, and the uh, discussions uh, were uh, published uh, later in the, in the journals, Agrebe journal, uh, Nashe Teme, Our Topics. Um, uh, and it is interesting that the journal also keeps this uh, solidarity in the name of our, our topics, that the topics are shared, that they are uh, they're 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 our, and uh, there was a lot of debates uh, on different like political things, but also on different uh, on different uh, artistic things. Uh, the notion of engaged uh, art practice and tight connections between artistic and revolutionary uh, revolutionary acts. Uh, so uh, many. Film directors, artists, writers, uh, poets, uh, either directly coming from uh, uh, Latin America or living in exile in Europe, were gathering uh, in Belgrade, and many of them claimed that this important was important uh, that this event was important for them. 
and uh, Milo Petrovic um, in our conversation was witnessing that he remembers the opening of the event. He says more than 500 people were in the, in the auditorium. When, when the singer Chango Chehas was about to start singing the song Asta Siempre, he said he would like to sing it without microphone and invited Roberto, the brother of Che Guevara, and other participants in the audience to join. The excitement of people throughout the big hall of Student Cultural Center was uh, palpable. Brigada Salvador Allende painted three large-scale murals uh, in the streets of uh, Belgrade with solidary supports of students of Belgrade's Faculty of Political Science and Academy of Fine Arts. And we can trace the activities of the Brigadis through the archival television footage recorded on the painting locations. In the style of engaged and militant art practices, we hear only the first names or perhaps guerrilla nicknames rather than the full names of the artists. Self-representation and individual authorship are abandoned in favor of collective political building. So Alfredo uh, explains that uh, Brigada Salvador Allende was founded in Milan in 75 by members of uh, Socialist Party in exile. He, say, he says there are eight comrades in the brigade. We, can, uh, we come from different uh, professions. This comrade here is a student, the other a socialist worker, and I'm teaching uh, Spanish at the Pavia, Pavia University in Italy. While this friend of mine, he's teaching guitar. Gabriela speaks about the material uh, and political support for Chilean resistance that the brigade provides. She says, uh, we are mostly financed by political uh, organizations that invite us. The whole sum goes to the party and resistance forces. We do not take anything. Woman X, who uh, wanted to remain nameless, uh, describes the image. The mural consists of four elements. The first one is people's rule and is depicted through the joyful memories and happiness through flowers and factories. The second, uh, the second one is repression, torture, prisons, and death. It is done by military junta and agents of American imperialism. Then we have a, a feast as a representation of solidarity. It holds a Yugoslav flag. And then we have the struggle that is depicted by a man with a rifle. Then our flag and a feast holding and waving red flag. Only after this struggle uh, can the future exist, the socialist, glorious future, projecting beyond our revolution in Latin America towards global unity of people. As is generally the case with street art, its existence is temporary, and it is often connected to a specific moment and a particular situation. None of the Brigadis murals were preserved. Over time, they paid, then vanished, in parallel with fading out of the official ideology of socialism, non-alignment and revolutionary struggles and its replacement by the currently prevailing blend of neoliberal capitalist economy and global alt-right ideology. The story of Brigada Salvador Allende in Belgrade and the week of Latin America was remembered in 2005 project on solidarity initiated by the artist Darinka Popnitic. For it, she, she refreshed the colors on the remnants of the mural on the wall of Student Cultural Center, expressing by this act her solidarity in time with the events of people's struggle for decolonization and liberation. What is interesting in uh, the deeper examination of solidarity and uh, what offers a more complex picture of it is the fact that uh, Student Cultural Center uh, had, at the time, developed rich artistic programs. Communities who worked uh, together to develop the language of uh, new art exhibited in the gallery. And none of the usual Student Cultural Center artists joined the execution of murals. So Darinka and I made this, uh, this picture like... Uh, they are in solidarity with 
there is there was this concept uh, the the concept of performative artist the artist who expresses his or her own attitude acts with body and so on and uh, uh, the concept was uh, uh, the artist in the first person uh, so they are obviously in solidarity with uh, with that concept <laughs> Um, so, in other words, the solidarity in time had not been achieved in the present sense, but through the labor of history, not through uh, um, the immediate uh, action, but through mediation. This shows that solidarity in time does not have to be immediate or even immediately recognizable, but might also take time. It can be durational and reach other unexpected addressees who can re-identify and newly ally with a historical contemporary. Darin Kapok Mitic comments on the labor of art history of what is singled out as a valuable and received a new precious object status in the international memory and this is, of course, our conceptual art uh, that uh, became part of uh, respected archives and collections, uh, uh, as the collection being one being one of uh, the most important, the collection uh, behind which is uh, uh, the bank. Uh, so this and what is left to historical political ob oblivion to become the lost object eventually restored by contemporary artist or curious art historian, me. <laughs> so the inside, uh, Darinka says, the inside of this institution, the Student Cultural Center is a conceptual art scene, while its outside is the third world, mural made in collaboration between an artistic brigade and the students of the Academy of Fine Art and obvious propaganda artwork. The framework, the frame, of the entire conceptual uh, scene in Student Cultural Center is in a way precisely this mural. But on the other hand, it is exactly this mural uh, that was both badly documented and left to the mercy of ravages of time, which uh, uh, fragmented and fragmented until uh, the only thing left were the giant heads that always frightened me when I was passing by Student Cultural Center building as a child. And then she finishes, Chesterton has the following aphorism, art consists of limitation. The most beautiful part of every picture is the frame. The moral solidarity is the frame for our conceptual art scene. And during my research of the politics of historicization of Student Cultural Center, as well as uh, the exhibition history within and beyond its institutional walls, I point to the notions of heterogeneity, cohabitation, and lamination of different but mutually interconnected cultural political positions and voices. As uh, Pop Mitic underlined the project uh, concerning uh, Latin America and the works of the Brigada Salvador Allende, are examples of certain politics of art addressing different poetics in comparison to what was happening in the gallery program of Student Cultural Center, which at the time assumed a variety of artistic and political positions, but mainly dismissed explicit political activism and traditional pictorial expression. So this is how the, the, the crowd in the gallery uh, were observed what is happening outside traditional pictorial expression, explicit political activism. So the new art practice uh, uh, that these protagonists were uh, introducing uh, has put the emphasis on the language of art, expressing itself through negative gestures and non-conventional use of the gallery space for showing and non-showing, for non-representational exhibiting. For them, the traditional uh, pictorial belonged to a system of universal artistic values that would always preserve the reproduction of the bourgeois institution of art that they were trying to surpass and destroy. And thinking of art and politics, or rather about politics uh, of art for the re uh, representatives of new art practice meant precisely revolutionizing the language of art. So kind of shift 
from the mimetic fu function of art and its obsession with the questions of representation to the ideological apparatuses that establish criteria in the production uh, for the production and evaluation of art. I stop here. I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I spoke one. Uh, I spoke one hour, and then we can uh, uh, further um, discuss in debate. So, I have only one paragraph. What do you say, Sasha? Sure. However, you feel if you want to stop there, we can take it over and discuss. Or you want to? Okay, let's, yeah, let's, let's stop discuss. there. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'll just remind everyone that um, for, all, for all of you who are watching us on YouTube and Zoom, you can ask questions uh, via those um, uh, chat uh, and Q&A uh, options. Um, but... Um, uh, yeah, I I think you gave us a pretty complex uh, lecture in terms of uh, being self-reflexive, mm. uh, which uh, which is uh, the 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 feature of your text that I appreciate very much when reading your texts. Uh, but uh, in a form of lecture is even uh, I would say uh, additionally. Yeah, kind of adds to it because uh, it, it does talk about the methodology uh, that I think uh, is something I would like to start talking about uh, first uh, because you are self-reflexive in terms of uh, how your approach has been uh, forged uh, at the same time while forging this concept of solidarity of time. Mm -hmm. uh, so they kind of inform each other um, uh, having this like a spiral um, presentation of the phenomenon, but at the same time trying to uh, unpack uh, the uh, context, historical context within which this action came into being and the whole kind of history that precedes it. And of course, history that we are now in uh, that from point of view from which we are looking at this phenomena. Uh, and um, if you can say a little bit, um, maybe a few more words about um, how how interconnected these method methodologies of approach and mm. the very concept that you're trying to build in uh, are in the first place. Yeah, I see it, uh, um, I see it as a kind of, um, mm, as a kind as, as a kind of um, ep epistemological thing which is uh, at the same time uh, uh, a political thing i think that uh, uh, i mean for me uh, first uh, um, the the concept of uh, the concept of situated knowledge that it does not come uh, by donna haraway is very important i mean in the sense of that the knowledge is uh, uh, assumes a certain material practice, a certain position, a certain body, a certain experience, and so on, and is not coming from nowhere, and is not, you know, like just uh, just just universal mm -hmm. and uh, neutral, and uh, and so on, and authoritative, as uh, uh, the knowledge was presented and is still uh, sort of uh, mm -hmm. uh, presented to us. The second thing is um, uh, that. Um, uh, I was uh, I was very influenced in my thinking uh, uh, in my thinking uh, uh, about um, about art and specifically uh, art history by um, um, conceptions of um, uh, former artist Goran uh, Goran Georgievich, uh, uh, who is also known as the uh, Darwin of Salon de Fleurus in New York. Okay, now it does not exist. Our uh, uh, Museum of American Art in Berlin, and who um, uh, who always advocates for this kind of making of, making of the story of art history, how they uh, how the story is being uh, uh, built architecturally and what's behind it, because all the stories are uh, are being uh, constructed and made uh, somehow. Uh, 
so it's uh it's uh it's always uh interesting i mean uh, uh tells a lot or i mean at least it's uh interesting to me to uh, to think about this uh, process of uh, um, unmaking of art history and obviously um uh uh, what I what I discussed at the beginning, the generation Gen X and mil and millennials uh, who are obviously obsessed with the with the with the histories, uh, 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 it is uh, that um, um, these generations um, um, were put in a situation. I mean, it was not you know like uh, some kind of like a very speculative environment. But it was uh, we were put in a situation of uh, like really exist uh, to uh, to to existentially bodily life wise in a, in any sense uh, uh, um, uh, unlearn and learn new things. So we are unlearning by remembering uh, how was it before. I mean, uh, in uh, in all three um, directions that that I mentioned, like uh, uh, the logic of 20th century, the logic of 21st century, pre-internet, post-internet, uh, social socialist, post-socialist. Uh, these are big things. These are like uh, bodily things, uh, living things, uh, uh, and step by step, epistemological things, art historical things, and so on. So. Uh, so I am, um, yeah, I'm also I'm also interested in that as a as a self reflection, but not as a, this kind of like very individual selfish self reflection, but as a self reflection which has like uh, some larger uh, social sense. I hope. Well, it seems to me that 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 type of approach has its own. Political agenda, right? That is uh, uh, that is very much practicing what is preaching, right? It's, if it is solidarity, then there is a certain uh, certain also epistemological move towards specific politics of artists at the time, where the other artists that you are commenting, for example, here conceptual artists. Uh, gain a different picture, right? When mm -hmm. they are juxtaposed with uh, what's happening outside of the institution that we know as alternative, like such 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 as was such uh, as was cultural uh cultural. cultural center. Um so there is this uh, uh at the same time like a political gesture with within which this unpacking of historical layers of political engagement of artists uh, uh ensues right and um in that regard it seems to me uh, interesting to think about the um in terms of fresh self self reflexivity it seems to me important to think about a researcher's po uh, political stance as well how much we cannot be objective as you know what was epistemal what was the researcher of the 20th century mm -hmm. Um, so how you uh, navigate that field, I know that you don't have institutional affiliation, and can you reflect about whether that's more helpful or less helpful, or probably both in different contexts? How are you seen as a researcher uh, within, you know, the uh, art historical circle that you, and curatorial circles that you operate? Uh, and uh, wh whether it's like harder for you not having an affiliation or it, it's easier. Uh, and if you, if you can say a few words about that, about like politics uh, behind your own writing and then lecturing and mm. research. Um, I mean, I, I, um, I don't like to see myself as an, uh, to observe myself as an ex uh, exceptional, uh, I. I belong and sort of uh, grew up uh, uh, on the so-called or is later self-named uh, as an independent scene. <clears throat> so the self-organized um, initiatives of uh, intellectuals, uh, theater workers and so on, uh, who, who started uh, their practice after 
the end of end of Warsaw, who kind of grew up uh, during uh, during nineties and uh, uh, started dealing with uh, different professions in two thousands. And uh, uh, I think many of us, uh, like at the moment, strongly disidentified with uh, institutions uh, with uh, uh, institutions which uh, during the war have been uh, taken by. Uh, uh, nationalist forces, and then after 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 the war, uh, were acting from uh, uh, this position of um, um, of a kind of framing uh, the 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 new national culture of uh, of new nation new nation states, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, this was important task for the institution, and then uh, this neoliberal uh, thing uh, to you know compete, go to the market, become self-sustainable, and so on. And uh, the generation uh, of uh, the the generations of I don't know like uh, experts and humans, <laughs> and uh, more than humans to to whom I uh, uh, to who, uh, to whom I. Uh, identify with and uh, live in solidarity with these are these are mostly people who were associated with uh, uh with uh, with independent with independence and we were, we are the first uh, the first generation the first big wave of freelancers mm -hmm. And this is uh, entirely a very complex, uh, uh, very complex story uh, that can be uh, analyzed from different angles and perspectives. And uh, I also have one text about about it, which is like uh, about contracting uh, artistic jobs between uh, love and money, between money and love. Uh, so uh, it is uh, it is a complex uh, it is a complex position that yes. Uh, uh, abandons uh, uh, this uh, mm, uh, gray life of uh, the the 10th century for something new uh, that uh, also um, develops some kind of um, entrepreneurial uh, subjectivity, like uh, some kind of uh, you know fu funky business uh, mm -hmm. uh, model, but. Uh, 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 that uh, also falls into the trap of uh, of precarity and sometimes uh, sometimes more of labor and uh, um, I mean I disagree actually with these people from this scene who kind of uh, self victimize uh, a lot. I also do see uh, do see a lot of uh, um, a lot of problems of survival of the people who clearly would like to continue to live like uh, independently um i mean this is just that uh, that that starting 90s and 2000s globally uh what was considered uh before as uh, the position of artist is now extended to the position of cultural workers so uh, the curators the writers the artists they are all kind of free to compete and uh, I mean, uh, I'm not for for that logic, but uh, yeah, I, with uh, with my colleagues, we are trying to to confront it uh, on a smaller scale. Like we won't compete, but you know, like we share the beamer. I'm not renting you a beamer, but we share a beamer. So I'm not, you know, like selling you uh, my uh, collaborator, but I share with you my collaborator and we share resources. So this is uh, this is the other idea. So I see uh, both advantages and disadvantages in this kind in this kind of work okay if you ask me yeah. uh yeah i will uh, i will go uh, in some of the next steps i will perhaps uh, go uh, like more um uh, in direction of this situation because i think that now we are in a uh, super bad situation where we have to sort of uh, uh, also defend something that uh, uh we told maybe in the early 2000s are conservative values like institutions, museums, art, mm -hmm. association of art critics, psyche, and so on. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that. Uh, it's a little bit of a professional, personal question, but I was curious, and I think it's important to talk about these uh, constraints mm -hmm. and, and the advantages, if there are any advantages. 
and I'll just ask one more question, and then I would like to to involve our audience to 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 conversa in conversation. Um, do did you in your research came up with any um economic history of how this event came to being uh, in seventy nine? Meaning you were mentioning some of the people from third uh, third wave cinema being uh, physically present during mm -hmm. the week of Latin America. Everyone was physically present. It, yeah. No Zoom in yeah. seventy. So I'm curious about how, like, what 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 was uh, maybe like the the history of uh, possibility of them coming. They obviously showed up in Belgrade, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how did that work in turn on terms of uh, such an independent institution, such such it was a uh, student cultural center? Uh, uh... I see, like the also the student cultural center as the beginning, like also regarding the economies of organizing artistic events as a, a kind of prehistory, if not uh, the history, the beginning of history of uh, uh, contemporary forms of working. So fundraising. Uh, in student cultural center, they worked a lot with the embassies, and embassies were giving. Uh, 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 a lot uh, to so like embassies the different uh, uh, different international uh, international organizations because somehow uh, uh, international solidarity was guarded still and uh, financed by some organizations a lot of uh, uh, interesting and important exhibitions uh, or events in the world uh, took place through United Nations being financed by United Nations or UNESCO and so on. So uh, uh, I don't know uh, like uh, uh, very particular details about the the economy and this is interesting thing which I should uh, uh, continue exploring. Uh, if if my witnesses remember, this is also <laughs> this is also quite often a problem because they say you know like uh, this is uh, you know like this is this is totally invisible. Uh, it it is an important event, but you know like before uh, Darinka put some labor and I put some labor, you know like uh, three tiny papers in the archivist and cultural center plus two photographs. This is all. That's all the material. That's events. all the material. That's all the material about events. So, uh, so, uh, and uh, and and I know that they that they uh, institute cultural center uh, fundraised a lot. Okay. Well, thank you. And yeah, I would like to involve everyone. <laughs> if you have any question, comment, please join us. Yeah. I guess um, with the context of, you know, you said brought up historians and our historians going into the archive, how would how would you propose when we look at these examples of solidarity, especially, you know, the week of Latin America in socialist Yugoslavia, how do you think we should look at these without, you know, just reverting on a nostalgic view and actually using those to continue um, solidarity into the future? Mm. Uh... I think uh, um, I think uh, the the way I was um, I mean it's uh, it's it's not a, it's not a proposition for everyone but uh, I find my I found my own way to look uh, to look at these events uh, outside of the you know like nostal nostalgic picture uh, I think nostalgic nostalgic pictures. Um, I mean, it's not you know like uh, uh, it's not it's not it's it's not great to you know like put a bullet points and say you know like what are the characteristics of nost nost nostalgic pictures, but still um, still I think that um, if you feel um, if you feel in the event some kind of wholeness without in in representation of the archival uh, events and so on. So if you see uh, in the representation of it a certain uh, uh, a certain wholeness without uh, contradictions, uh, mm, 
if uh, if if uh, if it is uh, uh, just about some kind of glory of glorious past to which uh, uh, which sort of uh, pulls you to ally uh, with it, uh, but in a way to encapsulate yourself, to, to kind of escape there from uh, nasty uh, today, uh, then it is uh, then it is nostalgic. But if you use uh, if you if you use uh, the um, walks to the histories and archives and uh, uh, crossing data for other things, such as I used to show. Uh, contradictions to um, uh, to 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 show these crosses of different uh, different preferences that were co coexistent and which are um, which are opening many perspectives on many things. Uh, uh, then maybe you learn something uh, so something from uh, and uh, um, you learn about the. Uh, non-idealized atmosphere and conditions uh, of, of of solidarity, which is you know like uh, uh, in the end some kind of uh, some kind of discipline, some kind of knowledge, some kind of uh, uh, investment, some kind of labor uh, is not um, uh, as um, you know, like quite quite often, I think uh, people, especially especially in art, uh, use these terms of um, from glorious past uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, 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 relatively sweetened ways, and like solidarity uh, of people and so. On. No. Uh, you know, like, uh, and this is why I've also shown these images from uh, Punta Corvo's film. Uh, uh, the guerrilla strugglers, partisan strugglers, and so on, and and the voice. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, these are very. These are very very difficult images. This is very difficult knowledge. So you cannot. Um, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, you cannot. One cannot just speak uh, in this. Uh, you know, like uh, sweetening terms, like yeah. Sometimes people are nice to each other, and today. There is this nasty capitalism and blah blah. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, it is an uh, then an escapist uh, uh, approach. And I see, yeah, many works, uh, many artworks also in this uh, highway of production, of artistic mm -hmm. production. Uh, many many works uh, are exactly. Uh, mm, producing uh, this sweetened uh, outcome which i uh, which is why i also uh, ended uh, uh, a thing with this uh, with this image like stealing from history like who has right to use these images and how what is the ethic of the image what is the ethical use of the image not all of the, you know, like uh, if you if you uh, if you just grab from uh, uh, like interesting dif uh, and dif or like uh, big political uh, historical events uh, and uh, representations, and especially if uh, if these were successful historically and politically, and you go, you take these images, appropriate them for your own uh, art uh, piece, film, or or or. or theory, brand yourself with that kind of politics, you know, and sell the artwork and win the uh, um, awards in different festivals and so on, then you perhaps uh, uh, didn't contribute that much to this history and to this history of solidarity, but you uh, just uh, vul vulgarly use uh, uh, a certain political affects uh, that people are hungry for in order to make your breakthrough uh, to success. One else, yeah. Anna, yeah. Anna, Anna. Um, I, I, I thank you for this lecture so much, but I, I thought it was so interesting when you showed um, the group with the conceptual artists, like non-solidarity, and then some kind of a uh, lost 
solidarity, like there was a temporal kind of a leap. But and I was thinking, what? And then you said that, that there was like, like the, the official politics of Yugoslavia at the time in relation to Latin America, I think it was supporting Allende, no? Mm -hmm. So was it maybe also this attitude of which that generation had a little bit of being like a little bit dismissive? Not in the you know, specific is not the right the right word. A little bit delusional, or like having already the 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 main politics taking care of something, so they can do their own art because the like the politics in a way are right, but then there is also distance because I feel that what is what is interesting that this sort of what's happening in, in a when you said in student cultural center which was uh, a public institution so in a way it was also the official um politics at the time mm -hmm. to be in solidarity with this mm -hmm. people. and so because of the non-alignment of the third way and so on so so almost you have the young people at the time not being almost so interested in, in that. That that I know there was something and maybe I'm making off, as you said, but like the, I, I, I was not even aware, I was aware of the project, but I was not aware so much of their attitude towards that. And then like having a generation who is trying to understand what happened and like aligning with the, with this politics. Mm -hmm. So that that was I mean a question and, and my question was also about that and about did you know about other like cultural workers who were at the moment in solidarity, like who was there supporting the mm -hmm. artists during mural, like writers, musicians, people working uh, there? Uh, I mean, this, uh, f first of all, this model uh, stayed visible for a long time. So obviously uh, it is being supported by politics, citizens, artists, um, uh, the employees uh, in the uh, Student Cultural Center. Uh, I was I was commenting different uh, different political uh, po political um, um, attitudes uh, between uh, uh, the uh, generation of, of uh, the protagonists of new art practices in Student Cultural Center that is new avant garde artists and. Uh, the muralists. So <clears throat> for them, for new avant-garde artists, this was uh, this was uh, uh, just a, a politicized painting, which they, uh, this generation of artists, uh, 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 I think, connected with the language of uh, uh, hegemonous art in Yugoslav yes. context of the earlier generation. Yeah. So of yeah. the generation of, of the of, of, so, yeah, yeah of the partisans so generation of the partisans so gen yeah, generation their yes their parents so the generation which came uh which uh, uh which was to you know like uh, articulate okay in Yugoslav context uh, context to this anti-fascism uh and Yugoslav uh, uh autonomy autonomous self-liberation and so on and uh uh, the art, uh, which uh, which which I think is very much alike in with uh, I don't know like uh, the art uh, the art uh, of the sixties in uh, Algeria upon liberation and other and other uh, countries of uh, uh, on African uh, continent after the liberation or you know like this kind of uh, this kind of art which combines. Uh, uh, modernism, but claims uh, modernism and uh, uh, local specificity, mm -hmm. but is uh, representational. And um, the, uh, this generation of uh, uh, new avant garde or, or new art practices, they were trying to intervene into the very, very language of art, into the, um, the language and apparatus of production. So, you know, like uh, uh, what they wanted to first of all change is this fact that you know like there are there are some images which show something which portray something which represents something and then you uh, you with your body as a viewer as observer you are standing in front of this image and contemplate the image so uh uh, what is uh, what is what is called uh, the the stage, 
So they wanted to uh, they wanted to cancel this stage between the view the, between the producer and the uh, the, um, the observer of the artwork, uh, and uh, they produced this intervention uh, uh, with uh, uh, through the the change of the language uh, of the language of art. So for them, this was uh, this is conservative. But then on the other hand. If we observe uh, these two images next to each other, we can say, you know, like uh, this is the image of the uh, uh, th this image belongs to the concept of the third world, and this image belongs to the concept of Western art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> if I can pick, pick on that, it's also the very materiality of the wall, where you can see the bricks and that the wall has been built, right? And then to me, the mural kind of, I mean, one can also like read into it way more, like of a, you know, history of labor, history of the institutions such as uh, Student Cultural Center. Um, and then the quote that you said that, uh, it frames the conceptual art uh, adds to the discussion as well, mm -hmm. uh, because the the conceptual art at that time is also at the point of being historized and being kind of something you know like yeah. part of a, part of the history rather than the new thing in the in the yes. art world. Um, so that also kind of adds to the whole <laughs> layer layering of the history and the epistemological uh, approach to, to the story. Yes, the, mur the, mur the mural is from uh, uh, 77, while the uh, these images inside Student Cultural Center and uh, the group of protagonists, curators, critics, artists, uh, standing uh, upright and leaning to the uh, wall of the Gallery of Student Cultural Center is from 71. So this is and uh, so this is this is this is the beginning, uh, you know, like where Student Cultural Center was open for uh, this generation of people, uh, like which are you know sixty eighters. So mm -hmm. it's very much uh, like a globe. Uh, they they're very much belonging to this global sixty eight culture. And now, why? Uh, I mean, for me, the, the 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 you know, like the the questions are uh, if I uh, if I if I would go like a small uh, if I would go uh, through like a smaller capillary paths and open like uh, other different smaller strands. For me, it is the question of how you know this uh, like. Um, artists who were interested in uh, film and video didn't uh, come into connection or didn't uh, didn't know for I don't know like Fernando Salana so and uh, many others I mean and the, uh, these films that were there and so on why the uh, and, and that's why I read mean, it as a generational thing like, generation like the children of people who did fight for freedom anti-fascism and now they're like enjoying a little bit the fruits of the of the fight which is freedom they can travel they can do art they have their place mm -hmm. that's that's why i was saying some kind of a delusion of a little bit looking more to the west as much as the, the politics are more to the like the third world they are looking more to the west they go to the paris biennial to amsterdam like there is this aspiration of the West and the, the whole region. Uh, yeah, so that's that somehow what it is interesting to, to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm, and uh, I mean, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to open. Uh, I mean, now you know, like I don't want to to open uh, one uh, big uh, and uh, quite. Um, yeah, quite big, uh, quite big hole in which you can, you know, like jump and spend another thirty minutes in debate minimum. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, the the, the difference uh, uh, between what was happening on the very on the very terrain of living in a certain political context and what were these, uh, you know, like uh, ups abstract ideas and sometimes gestures of the of the political elite which is uh which is the theme uh that's very much um, 
debated uh, among my uh, colleagues, and myself, who are dealing a little bit with uh, uh, critical historicization of non-line non -line movement, which is uh, another thing that people approach to very apologetically and very nostalgically. And uh, yeah, but there are also those who do not approach uh, uh, this history is very apologet apologetically and nostalgically, and I am one of them. And uh, yeah, but yeah, this this uh, uh, this field is a good terrain to to explore such questions. I think one of the best terrains. What is progressive? Mm -hmm. The officials, these you know, like politicians, or you know, like these undergrounds who are. And that's something we were when we were talking. For you to come here, we were talking about this debate that is actually in the 30s between in, among the surrealists between yeah. El, Eliade and, and Breton, like should be, you know, should we align with the leftist ideology and actually act uh, within mm -hmm. the political field, even if we are artists or we should be a fellow travelers and be maybe a little bit withdrawn and observe and then write about things or represent things yeah um so i think I, I i feel that different times bring the same old debate to the fore and the artists are about to position to take positions basically uh, but sorry anna you have it also um i want to return to your point back to your last question mm -hmm. um when you were uh, you were asking about um economics and economic history um because i i do really think that this might be a um, particularly fruitful way of a bit of rapid nostalgia um in part because it provides um an institutional framework rather than the regional context of Yugoslavia specifically in which to consider the the way in which material conditions um affecting um, both Yugoslavia and Latin America were negotiated and produced and making of, for example, um, the New York National Economic Order in which Yugoslavia was very active, along with, um, I mean, it, which is a, an organization essentially established by the Nakhlein movement to advocate for the complete reconstitution of the world mm -hmm. at the UN. Um, there's the uh, Commission for um, uh, the Commission for Sea Policy Governance Against War, but it's a Latin American institution at the UN that Yugoslavia is also active in. Um, I just wonder, on one hand, to what degree um, the kind of function of nostalgia is also tethered to a particular kind of articulation of regional. Um, and then ultimately, what conclusions do we might arrive at um, by starting with the material conditions in which this transnational history was produced, and then looking to the sort of specificity of artistic production um, that came up with those material conditions? I also wanted to ask this perhaps about a very broad question, but how would, and if you would distinguish um, between solidarity and socialism? In the context that you're studying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, now, now to you know, like get into you know, like this uh, um, debate, which can be like very. Very, very granulated. Uh, uh, the difference between uh, between uh, um, solidarity and uh, and socialism. In me, myself, uh, I am uh, uh, I am non nostalgically for socialism mm -hmm. because I see uh, I see many I see many problems in the political histories uh, histories of, of socialism and. Uh, uh, Okay, I will not uh, pronounce uh, this night my most heretic sentences uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, regarding regarding that regarding that issue. But yes, uh, I uh, 
for me, you know, like uh, socialist histories are the most, in a way, uh, uh, rele relevant. Uh, uh, but also, uh, I uh, I approach them non apologetic. Um, as for your first, uh, as for your first question. Uh, I'm not. Uh, uh, it is. It is super interesting. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you, if you ask me now, Alexander and you, I'm very triggered to you know like explore uh, the um, economic um, aspects of um, uh, funding this event and uh, how the thing the thing is uh, been how the thing came into being and so on. But uh, on the other hand, I don't. I'm. I don't think. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. To be precise, I'm not sure that uh, that uh, um, it is precisely you know like uh, the 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 aspect of economy that if I know more or if the facts are a bit provocative that will uh, you know like lead the story in completely other other direction. Okay, I'm one of these, uh, you know, like Marxists and uh, and socialists who do not think that, you know, like uh, 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 economic basis uh, makes a direct imprint to uh, intellectual and, and social production. So, uh, but uh, uh, but uh, mm, I think that uh, that actually there were there were. Mm, Many events. I mean, the world, the uh, Europe, first of all, was much more left at the, at the moment, uh, and uh, so in this socialist uh, trajectory, uh, using different socialist trajectories. So who knows? You know, like I think that perhaps the organization of of this was very hybrid and full of uh, in individual uh, cases uh, and uh, very. Um, inventive uh, ways of finding support. Uh, okay, I said that embassies, like just wanting to emphasize the modus operandi of uh, student cultural center uh, uh, when it comes to international international events. But uh, I think, uh, I mean, uh, these uh, networks of of solidarity were existing everywhere. In uh, in in Europe, uh, it is just that uh, uh, that this uh, this event is interesting because um, for me uh, because it uh, it was unknown. I mean, and for me it's interesting because uh, for me it's very interesting to think uh, um, to think uh, to think about like uh, transnational solidarities, cooperations, uh, and uh, different productive or non-productive moments of this. Uh, uh, get togethers and so on. And uh, I don't, uh, I mean, I didn't, I, I presented this uh, uh, example as one example in the flood of other examples. I didn't say uh, that this example is, uh, you know, like super unique and that me uh, being of, you know, like Yugoslav orientation, and I am very proud uh, that I am, you know, like Yugoslav, this country where, which was so, you know, like open, for such an important event. This is totally not what I'm saying, but I'm saying that this um, uh, that this event is interesting, like in example, I don't know how Hungar Hungarian architects were thinking uh, and uh, um, um, doing uh, some architectural works in the in the new uh, newly liberated na uh, with newly liberated nations in Africa. Or I don't know, um, uh, Czech and Hungarian artists in the seventies came uh, came together and uh, I don't know, strike against uh, uh, Soviet Union or something like that. You know, uh, the, the 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 cross culturals and um, uh, yeah, gatherings and 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 and, and solidarities. And I think that, uh, uh, so I think uh, what's more interesting in this story that I presented uh, is not, what's interesting is not the representation, it's not the reconstruction of the story to say, see, isn't this event really important? No, but uh, the method, how do we approach 
uh, uh, the, the writing of these like less visible histories, art histories, what do we learn from history? And this is why I started with this uh, like huge set of uh, uh, questions at the beginning. I think the, the more complicated and more maybe open question is solidarity and socialism distinction that was asked as well. Uh, I think I I I answer answer okay. first okay. to short to, to okay. this question. Okay, it is a difficult question. We can you know like it's a task for uh, for uh, for another lecture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I see what you you you're saying when you say that uh, the act of reproduction is not the the main the main thing. Mm -hmm. but the meaning that that's written into it. At the same time, I also think that the moment in which the act of reproduction happens, the moment in which you will like, uh, uh, embark on this project is significant. Mm -hmm. You know, the then question, why now? Yeah. Why are you taking up this at this particular point? And what kind of input that makes onto the local political context, or what does it say in response to the certain uh, uh, contemporary local political realities of that post uh, space? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I wonder whether you might want to say something about that. I think uh, I think I already I I I already. Um... Uh, based uh, based the story upon upon that uh, also in this uh, in, uh, introduction i was referring to precisely to precisely these things why particular uh, you know like why uh, the particular moment uh, is um this moment in which one thing uh, happens and so on but uh, yes uh, of course uh, the um um I mean uh, the the uh, I was I was speaking about the the the, the wars of the of the nineties in which all these like uh, socialist so solidarity uh, solidarities were broken. I mean also like uh, it was difficult moment also for the uh, members of non aligned movement who didn't know you know like what to do with uh, the representative of of Yugoslavia. So. I mean, and who will uh, succeed uh, this chair? <laughs> so the chair remained empty, and this is interesting. This is one of the interesting in interesting things, and uh, with colleagues of mine, we also wrote about that. And then, uh, um, of course, uh, I mean, uh, this this war was the, was the, was the war for property. For reorganization of uh, for reorganization of property, uh, mostly, but also uh, uh, it was sitting on the ideology of of nationalism, nation state, and then national culture. So all the things that uh, do not fit, they are uh, they they are left to uh, oblivion, and they are left to to get paved and. Uh, they belong to 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 suppress the, to suppress histories, and uh, they end up this way. So, uh, and this is how this this is also uh, how they this happens. This happens to art, to to values, to um, to the way that the the city looks like. What's important? Uh, uh, what is ruined? Uh, uh, like. Um, yeah. So, so, so I think uh, I think uh, uh, that this that this context of the of the right wing turn uh, in uh, uh, post Yugoslav space uh, and later more broadly that this was precisely uh, the context in which uh, this less visible uh, things became interesting to see them. And on and to point to to point to that, and that this is precisely this this dynamic. That, uh, they are maybe not so uh, uh, um, 
this event is maybe not so not so uh, not so interesting per se. Okay, it is interesting, but vis-a-vis -vis in constellation with, and uh, this is why I was presenting this uh, this this method, which was very much about these constellations. This how do we observe uh, what we juxtapose, which contradictions we open. Yeah, but back to, to to this point, I think that the present moment for which you are writing and you've becoming interested in this topic mm -hmm. has something in common with you know a moment when Pinochet takes over in Chile. Yeah, I mean politically, right? So there are those parallels that are triggered that are you know historically, uh, mm -hmm. um, and that that is definitely. You know, one of the reflexive nostalgia by born sort of mm -hmm. thing that because of the ill moment in the present, we are prone to look at the past mm -hmm. for the solutions yeah. or the histories of struggle that could help us in contemporary more. Anyone else? <laughs> All these questions. We I just want to share that uh, Sarita Matir Gilnik says hi. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Sarita. And just again, again, I can listen to the video because it's a good subject, but I actually really enjoyed her view because your own positionality within this project because I feel especially with the way you talked about the precariousness of the researcher as a non-institutional actor. In a way, it connects you right with the, with the artists and the people who are reproducing this image as you know, precarious people. So you know, so there's a link not just to the event, but the state of the like, human, I guess, the human problem, like not being not having the institutional protection, perhaps, right? I don't know if this. I was thinking of this video of like solidarity in precariousness, but solidarity against precariousness as well. That would be fair. But I have to constantly think about it. Yeah, it, it, it is okay, uh, unrelated to. Uh, and partly related to the, to this topic, but then related to the topic of history. Uh, that I centered history in contemporary art. That I centered in this uh, in the in this debate. There is there is, there is a lot of uh, um, conversation uh, uh, going on uh, about uh, uh, this other um, like uh, relations uh, uh, and uh, like ways of productions that are that are not uh, that are, that are not. Uh, uh, only um, expressed through uh, wage labor and uh, uh, and the money um, uh, ex exchange of money, but uh, yeah, different uh, different mutual uh, mut mutual help or exchange, which uh, uh, which is not. Uh, uh, Lying onto this, uh, like uh, magistral of uh, um, capitalist production, mm -hmm. and th th there, there, there is uh, really a lot of uh, a lot of debates uh, on that, uh, on that in art. Um, um, I was just coming across uh, in um, in an example in, in in UK one performance. I've forgotten the name. The name of the artist, one one performance, um, and the lecture was uh, uh, about budget. Mm -hmm. What we can learn uh, from the from the budget about you know like the, the, also division of labor and participation and the amount of labor and heterogeneity of labor, mm -hmm. and also exchange of bet between between people. Uh, then. Um, mm, yeah this this project icebergian uh economies and contemporary art which are relying to um uh, writings this of these economists geographers gibson graham 
yeah i mean just to uh from from the you know like uh, uh first page of uh, <laughs> uh the first page of uh, desktop Maybe this is it. I must oh, say, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I am I'm noticing. Yeah. I am getting. Uh, I'm yeah. getting a bit tired. Otherwise, I am. I'm really for uh, for discussion. But uh, it seems I need a little bit of. Uh, well, thank you again, Yelena. <laughs> I'm also clapping to everyone like Fidel <laughs> <laughs> to fit in this story of today. Thank you very thank much you for coming. For coming. And thanks to friends online. Yeah. So you can...